News 7's Holly Davis, along with photographer Kurt Spruth, take a look at the quest to reclaim these lost souls in Springwood Burial Park. For nearly 30 years, it sat unnoticed. The younger than I am, they probably just do it with bushes up here. Many who live nearby don't even know it's there. Take away the trees, the trash. Sofas and uh, freezers. And then you see it, somebody's home, their final resting place. This is my mother's grave here. Lillard Gaither. L-I-L-L-E-R. One of roughly 1,500 souls buried in what was one of only three all-black cemeteries in the Roanoke Valley in the 1930s. I never could understand why a person would cry when it was happy, but I actually cried. I actually cried. The tears of a son as he finds his way back to his mom. I had a stone put here so that it wouldn't ever be lost again. To understand how a grave could be lost, you have to take a step back. Remember, this cemetery, private property, has been abandoned for close to three decades. All of this right here, there's no sign of respect. You know, you let that uh, grow up like that. Each fall, as the weeds die, Junius Gaither goes to work at Springwood. And at his side, someone else with workers' hands. A man who has no roots here. It's the two of us together that uh, keep going. Inside this all-black cemetery, Bob Bird is white. And I guess we egg each other on and... Yeah, maybe we're just stubborn <laughs> too, you know. <laughs> These are graves through here. This one looks like it may have had a vault that collapsed. Fewer than 25% of the graves have permanent headstones. And yeah, this is the problem that you have as these markers get pulled up and moved. Making it difficult to determine who is buried where. Unfortunately, some of the graves won't ever be identified. Every now and then, volunteers show up. Start to turn around. <laughs> Charlie Turpin and his tractor have breathed new life into the project. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. If he would charge us for the work that he has done, oh, I guess it could be thousands. Yeah, thousands of them. <laughs> more and more, it's the other green, the kind that doesn't grow on trees, that's becoming the stumbling block. Our biggest experience really has been herbicide. Both men know this place will never be what it used to. And he was in the uh, Engineer Corps in World War I. But here they are. That looks like about the middle. Working to find lost souls. We have done some things. Much more needs to be done. 